Hey YouTube, welcome back to another Maya tutorial. Today I want to show you guys how to create a turntable. Uh, a turntable can be useful when you want to put an object that you model and display so it, it rotates nicely and you can look at it from all angles. Some people use it when they're creating their uh, demo reels or show reels, uh, but you can use it for all kinds of stuff. So um, yeah, let's get started. All right, so first we're going to create the turntable itself. So make sure in the polygons menu, uh, select uh, in the tab polygons a cylinder, drag that out, drag it up a little bit. And while it's selected, hit Control A. Actually, it was already selected. Uh, select your poly cylinder here, and I'm going to increase subdivisions here to make it nice and round. So I'm going to go with 50, something like that. So that's all good. And then I want to make sure it's nice and centered. So I'm going to hit this on the zero, hit this on zero. And for this one, I'm going to go to my side view because I want to have it on top of the grid. So um, here we are. I'm going to hit W and I'm going to move that up a little bit, something like that. Look at it from all angles. It looks nice and centered. Okie dokie. Now, when this starts to rotate, you're not going to see it because it's round. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place an object on top of it just for the effect. So I'm going to create a cube here. Okay, and then I'm going to move that on top of the, uh, the turntable. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, change the translate values. So that's zero. That's zero. This is the height. So I'm going to pull that up a little bit. So it's on top of my turntable, something like so. All right. Now that's all set. Now, we're not going to rotate the actual turntable. What we're going to do is we're going to create a circular path around the turntable, attach a camera to it, and have the camera move around. So to create pretty much the same effect. So that's what we're going to do next. So I'm going to go to the uh, animation tab here. And then I'm going to go to curves, click on this circle here, drag on the grid, and make a nice big circle. Now, obviously, that's not centered yet, and it's really important that it is. So, again, I'm going to go to the translation values, hit zero, hit zero. And for the middle one, I want to position it correctly. Sorry about that. So, I'm going to um, go in my uh, side view here, and um, I'm going to drag that up a little bit, because that will be the viewpoint for the camera, something like that. Okay. Next, we're going to create the camera. So um, we're going to go to create. We're going to select cameras and we're going to create camera. Now, if you don't see it right now because it's underneath the turntable right there, I'll just uh, drag it out so you see where it's at over here. And you don't have to position the camera on the circle path here because as soon as we apply the command um, to connect it to the path, it will position itself. Now, next bit is really important. You're going to determine the speed of the circular motion. So in your animation uh, area here, I'm going to create... Sorry for the quick pause there, guys. I'm going to create the camera to the, uh, the circular path here. So I need, in the animation section here, I need to make sure that I got enough of uh, uh, frames to do so. So I'm going to go with 1,000. And now I select the camera, shift select the, uh, the circular path, make sure you're in animation, go up to animate, go down to motion path and set motion, oh, sorry, attach to motion path. And as you can see, your camera is now connected to the motion path and it will be able to rotate. Now, if I do that and I click on play, you'll see that it's starting to move nice and slow. And that's what you want, because if you create an object with a lot of detail, you want to have time to look at it properly. 
but obviously this is not what you're looking for. What you want is to look through the view of the camera. So we're going to stop this. We're going to go back to the first frame and we're going to go to panels and then click on perspective and as a perspective point I want camera one and suddenly you're looking through the camera. Now if I hit play and I selected it nice and slow you'll see that slowly but surely the cube is starting to rotate on the disk. Now that's pretty much a tutorial. Um, obviously you can do a lot of stuff. You can uh, texture the, um, the turntable, you can create lighting, you can adjust the height of the, uh, the, the camera path and stuff like that. This is the basic principle. If you got any questions or, or you know just leave me a comment and uh, if you thought this, um, this video was helpful uh, you know um, a like or a subscription is really appreciated. Thank you.